Hello again, I'm Steve Jones, editor of Travel Today, and this is the Travel Today wrap-up, where we briefly recap this week's major news from the travel industry. It's not been the best of weeks for Qantas and Virgin Blue, both carriers being hit yet again by the escalating cost of fuel. That's becoming a fairly familiar story in recent months. Virgin Blue was first with an update on Wednesday. It told the market it was now expecting a pre-tax loss in the financial year of between $30 million and $80 million, so a pretty depressing forecast there from Virgin. $50 million has been added to its fuel bill over the past six weeks. $15 million has been lost due to the Christchurch earthquake, and you add those figures to the $50 million already lost due to the floods and cyclone in Queensland, and you begin to understand perhaps why Virgin won't be looking forward too much to delivering its year-end results. John Borghetti, the chief executive, did try and put a gloss on those figures by saying it further validated the strategy to move away from its reliance on the leisure sector. Qantas was next up. Uh, Yesterday it announced it was being forced to increase fares for the second successive month due to the rising cost of fuel. Domestic and uh, regional routes will rise by $10 per sector, while Tasman fares will increase by 8%, both those rises coming into effect from March the 31st. And that may not be the end of it, unfortunately. Qantas Chief Executive Alan Joyce warned that it will be forced again to look at raising its fuel surcharges or its fares if fuel continues to head northwards. And the signs are it will continue to do exactly that. Better news for Qantas this week, a delegation from Texas arrived in Australia to promote the uh, Qantas flights between Sydney and Dallas, which kick off on May the 16th. Moving on to the hotel industry, it was the No Vacancy Conference this week in Sydney. That's a gathering of the great and the good from the accommodation industry. Headlines from that conference, a revamp of the AAA star rating scheme, a story which we featured in yesterday's Travel Today. And you can see more stories from that conference in today's issue. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. You can keep bang up to date with news from the travel industry by reading Travel Today each and every day. You can also log on to our website at www.travelweekly.com.au or you can follow us on Twitter at travel underscore today. Until next week, have a good week and we'll see you soon.